as you're probably aware, uh, on my other one of my other vlogs, I um, I've got an easy button. Now I bought this one. Now I've just got to give you a quick warning. Um, if you've got any miners in the room who are watching this um, vlog, then you might want to uh, cover their ears or move them, take them out of the room when I press this button because. Um, as you can see, it's a, a ball <coughs> button, <laughs> of which I'm going to demo now. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. That's the first one. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. That's the second one. Uh, that was bullshit. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. Bullshit level, Defcon 5! Oh, come on now, that ain't even bullshit! That's horseshit! And that's what all of them. <laughs> oh, I love these sorts of things. Great fun. Especially if you take them round to a friend's house and you think they might be talking. Well, <clears throat> anyway, um, I hope um, you're not uh, too offended. But it, I, <laughs> you know something? I've been trying to find this for ages and it was buried on. I've got a from bedroom it's got loads of rubbish in it I've got to sort it out it all used to be in here at one stage I'm glad it's all gone but now I've moved it have you ever noticed how sometimes you can have lots of rubbish and um, move it from one room to another and it never seems to go away but I've got to have a real clear out in there because um, I've got to get things back to normal in there you know um, things are a bit topsy-turvy at the moment, I'm not really going to go into details, but um, yeah, I just want to get things back to normal and how they used to be. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, bolt button. I love it, I, you know, I couldn't find out where to put it, but um, it was in a buried amongst load of rubbish. I was rubbishing around trying to find it and then it suddenly went off. Uh, I was looking for it the other day so I could actually, you know, record it and um, let you listen to it. Good morning folks. I'm on the move. Just going to um, pop round to Kevin's, who you're probably familiar with now, and just uh, see if he's up for going on the park. I mean, he might have gone on already, so... Good barking at garden. <laughs> so I'm just going to... Uh, Go up and see him and see what he says. Whew, already warm out here already. I was going to come out earlier, but I wanted to get some things done on my computer. But they've been done now, so I thought I'd seize the opportunity <coughs> and come out um, pretty early. Stretch the old legs a bit which will hopefully set me up for the day. Whew. Nice in the shade, I must admit. They've said in the paper it's going to get hotter again. Ugh, melt, never mind. We soldier on, don't we? Just drink plenty of water. That's what the advice is, so best to heed it and stay indoors in the hottest part of the day, which tends to be between 12 and 4 all round about there. Plenty of traffic as you can see. Rush hour first thing in the morning, I suppose there will be. Hello YouTube, hello world, hello everybody. It's Saturday night and I've just come in the spare bedroom because um, somebody on Facebook, you might see the lighting's a bit dingy because I'm using um, ambient light. Just came in here to do a reading for somebody on the new cards I've got. I gave them um, a three card reading on the life purpose cards and a three card reading on the um, angel cards. Yeah, been a bit cooler today, you know. Still quite humid. I mean, the temperature is quite high still, but the intensity of the heat has gone down. So that's something. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get a decent night's sleep tonight. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. See you around anyway, be back soon. 
with more vlogging adventures in vlog world. Don't touch that dial. This is a bottle that um, you can put on your bike or just use it for um, putting drinks in. I've got it as part of a perk from Peer Index, I think, off a site. When I was um, more influential for things like sport, but things have changed since then. And one of the things that I got with it was these. These are called zero highs. These um, are what tennis players and um, um, people who do high intensity sports and stuff for a long time, people like tennis players or um, martial arts or running or anything like that. And um, they use them because when you drink too much water, um, it's not good for your body, believe it or not. I know that may um, seem a bit strange, but it's the truth. Um, there's some name, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, something that happens to your body when you drink too much water, you get too much sodium in it. And it can be quite lethal, actually. Some people have, um, you know, had lots of problems with um, drinking too much water. Marathon runners. And what you do is you have one of these and it revives you. It stops you from... It gets rid of the fatigue and stuff. It's got magnesium in it. And I, I, well, I've been a bit tired of late because, you know, not being able to sleep properly with it being so humid and hot. Um, I've had a couple. and It's not like drinking caffeine. It just gives you a gentle lift and makes you feel less tired. It doesn't last forever, admittedly. But um, I don't even know what they were. I mean, it wasn't until I was looking at Andy Murray's tweets and somebody asked him a question of, how he kept his um, momentum up during the, you know, when he was playing tennis because it was really hot that day. And um, he said that he used electrolytes, and I thought, oh. So I went on Google and looked up what they were and everything, and I went downstairs and I thought, I wonder if that's what they were. And I've got a bag with all this stuff in downstairs, and I'd never even touched it. And I'm glad um, I took the, you know, had a look because now I know that I can use these for when I'm doing certain things. So, yeah, coming quite useful, really. Um, just as a, an afterthought to this, after, after I'd finished recording, I'm hoping to do some more um, different vlogging locations. I'm going to get out and about very soon. Um, and there's a nature reserve where I live, and I really want to go down there one day. It's just a matter of getting there. Not been going out much, really, because of the heat, and I've been that tired. Because... With it being so hot, I don't sleep very well when it's hot. I might have mentioned that before. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, don't mean to I keep going on about the weather. But what can you do? <laughs> can't control the weather, can we? It's a pity you can't. We can't, but there you go, that's life. Yeah, so um, I'll tell you when I'm down there, and it'll be really, it'll be really nice, actually, to do some vlogging um, in the great outdoors, won't it? You know, around nature and stuff. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um... And showing you, you know, the nature reserve. It's a beautiful place. They've got like, um, what is it? Uh, there's a big building. I can't remember what it's called now. But you can go in there and buy drinks and food for the birds and stuff. Because they tell you not to use um, bread because it, can't, it gives the birds constipation. I mean, I never knew that. You're supposed to give them, you know, proper seeds. So, you know, they do sell... They do sell uh, proper seeds there that you can buy in, bag, in a bag. I mean, I don't want my doing that, actually, you know, getting some seed and going down there from, from just, you know, communing with nature. I, I've not been down there for such a long time now, and I think I'm about ready. I've got my bike fixed. I've got two new tyres on it, and the back wheel was buckled, and I was waiting for this. You know, so it's just a matter of now getting my sleep patterns established so I'm not tired when I go down there. And yeah, really looking for it. It'd be great to do some vlogging down there, will we? So... I mean, there's swans down there, ducks, um, can, can I, Canada geese, is it? Big brown birds. Yeah, but it's interesting to just be out in the outdoors, you know, and do something. Apart from being, you know, doing all this vlogging at home. It's all right, but why not? I mean, you know, can't beat the great outdoors. So I really look forward to that. And I'll, I'll see you there one day, hopefully. Bye for now. Morning, world. Dan.
dun, 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 dun. Today's temperature is 21 degrees with a relative humidity of 52. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can tell, but um, it looks like, oops, just keep the camera a bit more steady. It looks like um, it's been raining rain last night. It looked like it rained last night, which was well overdue. And um, it was cloudy yesterday, and it looks like it's brought the temperature down a bit. So hopefully, well, today should be a bit more bearable. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow, whether the sun's going to come out. But um, yeah, not too bad. Might be um, a pretty good day to go for a walk, what do you reckon? Next thing on the agenda, breakfast. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Whew. Well, just by opening the door this morning, this is a big difference, crikey. Whew. It's amazing the difference it is when there's no sun about. Look, clouds. Really strange to see them. Well, there you go.